It's a major winter storm bearing down on the Bluegrass State with flooding rains and the potential for significant snows. The very latest just ahead. The road behind me is one of many. The Montgomery County Emergency Management expects to flood as the water level continues to rise. Also, high water and flash flooding concerns in southern Kentucky will show you some problem areas in Rockcastle County. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Amber Philpot reporting. Here it comes, a major winter storm getting ready to rip across the bluegrass, and it's bringing heavy sleet and snow. Yeah, this is a live look now at current road conditions on South Broadway here in Lexington, where it is still raining. It has been raining like this for most of the day. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey on this first alert severe weather day. It is coming down here at the station. Yeah, it really is. And now we're getting ready to make that transition over to sleet and snow as we go through the evening. Sleet and snow taking over. Heavy snow is likely tonight with significant accumulations and then that'll set the stage for, believe it or not, record low temperatures by Friday morning. Winter storm warning is out for the entire state of Kentucky through tomorrow. And again, this storm not expected to kick into high gear until tonight and tomorrow. That is still the case as we're getting this sleet line uh, now into parts of central Kentucky. All told, tonight and tomorrow morning, we're talking about several inches of heavy wet snow, a possibility to the tune of 8 to 14 into the area of outline into the pink area. It really hasn't changed much over the past 24 hours with my thoughts. Farther north you go, we'll lighten that up a little bit around the Covington, Cincinnati area. Farther south, we'll lighten that up a little bit because we have a lot in the way of sleet that will begin uh, to mix in here. And you may stay sleet longer than your neighbors to the north. That is, again, coming up later tonight into tomorrow morning. The short-term problem is all about the high water that we're seeing out there. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell joining me now. Jim, a lot of the area under a flood warning into the evening. Yeah, I mean, the, the watch was up and posted basically the same areas, but we've upgraded to many warnings throughout central, southern, and eastern Kentucky, so that takes priority, and that's exactly what what you see on our map here. Just a few counties in southern Kentucky not included in on that, but it stretches from all the way out into parts of western Kentucky to the Kentucky West Virginia state line and beyond, of course. So heavy rounds of rain. Here's some of the totals. Those are the estimates. Here's some of the totals that we've gathered so far. An inch to an inch and a half in southern parts of the Commonwealth. You go down the Mountain Parkway into McGoffin, Johnson County, one to two inches, and then you see those two inch plus totals in some cases or just shy of it around central and northern parts of Kentucky. Kentucky, and we have already seen numerous reports coming in, Chris, of the high water in Bourbon County here in Fayette County roads shut down because of water being over them. So it is a very messy system, especially when you think of where we're getting ready to go when the, with, with the wintry side of this coming into play. Yeah, exactly right. And you know, it kind of goes without saying a lot of these safety tips, but we got to reinforce that to everyone out there. Get to higher ground. Never try to drive through a flooded roadway. We often get a lot of pics, video of people doing just that. You just never know how deep that water is. You never know sometimes if the road underneath it has been washed away. Turn around, don't drown. Words to live by, and we mean that literally. Life first alert defender, still heavy rain southern and southeastern Kentucky, but look what's going on in the bluegrass region. Heavy rain transitioning now to sleet, getting reports of sleet falling into Frankfurt and into Georgetown. So basically what my Twitter feed is telling me is that defender here, is picking up on exactly where that transition line is setting up. So not only are we seeing it on our radar, we're getting the real-time reports from where folks live as well. And the heavier snows now breaking out across northern and western parts of the area. And guys, all of this still to come through here later tonight into tomorrow morning. That transition, it's going to be a few hours of sleep before the heavy snow kicks into high gear later this evening. All right, still a lot to come, Chris. Thank you. Several school systems dismissed early today with the threat of more snow. Bourbon and Montgomery County schools let students out two hours early today. Our Victor Puente is in Mount Sterling with more on why emergency officials made their decision. It's our top story at 430. Just like the road behind me, the Montgomery County Emergency Management Director expects more roads to flood as that water level rises. And it's not just county roads they're concerned about. There are parts of downtown Mount Sterling where water is spreading on the road. It's drivable, but as that rain continues to fall, that may not be the case. Emergency Management Director Wesley Delk tells me they've spent the day monitoring roads across the county. They have some that are always an issue, and that includes some roads downtown. The state closed Bunker Hill Road early this morning for a two-mile stretch because of flooding. 
Once the rain stops, they're expecting snow, so road crews are prepared to work around the clock. Delk tells me the rain has made it impossible to pre-treat or salt because it would just get washed away. In an effort to beat the snow, they let schools out two hours early. We have children who live on roads that sometimes get a little flooded, so get them home before the water gets up and get everybody safe before the snow starts. Coming up at 5, you'll hear from Delk again about how melting snow may have helped them some in the city when it comes to their drainage. In Montgomery County, Victor Puente, WKYT. And unlike many other counties in the eastern part of the state, people in Montgomery County never lost water during the last two weeks. High water is creating some problems in southern Kentucky. In Rockcastle County, some roads are impassable after creeks came out of their banks. WKYT's Phil Pendleton continues our team coverage near Mount Vernon with how people are dealing with all this water there. And I am on Kentucky 1912, just a few miles outside of Mount Vernon, where high water has already caused some trouble for some. This is actually Wolf Creek behind me. It has jumped its banks. It has already blocked some roadways. Some people are choosing to drive through it, those and more of the higher wheelbase vehicles, but most people are simply taking the advice of turn around and don't drown, and they're not driving through this water. Now, we were there as a mail lady had to turn around because the water was too deep. She hand-delivered the mail to Mike Smith, who lives on Wolf Creek Road. For many, the road to his palace is simply impassable. They sent my wife and some son home early from school today because of the flooding so they can make it home. Uh, my wife is a teacher's aide at uh, Mount Vernon Elementary, so uh, I got a phone call and they went ahead and sent them both home so they could make it through before we got flooded out. Now, we were also in Conway earlier today where a lot of this high water was getting awfully close to some people's homes. More on that and more on how people are dealing with all of this weather at 5.30. But for now, in Rockcastle County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Rockcastle County officials say so far, despite the flooding there, it has not caused any emergency situations. Well, even before today's rain, some creeks and streams were already on the rise because of this last winter storm. Many people along flood prone Stoner Creek in Bourbon County are moving their things to higher ground. That includes a motorcycle club with a building near the creek. Members think as much as three feet of water could flood their clubhouse by the time Stoner Creek Crest. We'll have an update on how people in that area are dealing with all this water coming up on WKYT News at 5.30. It was the same story today in eastern Kentucky with rain causing flooding problems there. The water is also receding in some places in Pike County, but it's leaving a mess behind. Brittany Nada talked with two neighbors who say the fight with Mother Nature is not over just yet. Heavy early morning rain puts a soggy start on the day in Belfry. The ground's already saturated, so uh, it's really, it has nowhere to go. So it's all it can do is run off. Drivers forced to find alternate routes as creeks rose and roads flooded. Uh, we met last night and tried to get a game plan on what is going to be the best way to take care of everything. And really, you don't know until it happens. Now, most of the water receded, but it leaves behind a mess of mud and debris. Until it comes, because there ain't nothing we can do. Neighbors Paul May and Doug Smith say they had about six inches of water in their driveway. Nothing new for them. They say with all of the rain and snow this winter, they are keeping their brooms handy. We don't worry about it. when it comes, we just we take fight it, it and go on. And the fight isn't over just yet. Thank the Lord we didn't get no more, but we may get more rain today. In Pike County, Brittany Nauta, WKYT. State road crews are on standby, ready for when the snow arrives. The Transportation Cabinet monitors about 60,000 miles of roads in Kentucky. All of their 1,400 plows are ready for this next round of winter weather. For now, crews are keeping a close eye on the temperature of the roads. The temperatures are still good and will be through daylight hours today, uh, but we always are, are concerned with that road temperature. A lot of times, if uh, when that road temperature starts to get uh, close to the freezing mark, 32, that that may be what triggers our, our application need. The transportation cabinet has not started pre-treating yet because of all the rain. And remember, we can help you track the winter storm even if you're away from your TV. You can take control of the First Alert Defender and zoom right into your neighborhood by downloading the WKYT radar app. You can also find the latest weather information and closings on WKYT.com. And you can watch our live streaming coverage on the WKYT News app on your smartphone.